So there's a lot of command line programs that you can use to create hashes and implement them in your scripts, but you don't have a lot of control over the output. And you can do the same thing in PowerShell. So let's look at how we can um, create uh, hash file files uh, from a supplied folder. So this is our parent folder. This is where it's going to pull all the files from. This is where it's going to uh, store all the hashes. And here's where we can supply the type. We can use MD5, SHA1, uh, SHA256. It depends on your .NET version, I believe. Uh, so you might want to check into that. Now we're grabbing all of the files in that parent folder and we're using the file parameter and the recurse. So we go down all the sub levels and that we grab only file objects. So now that we have all the files that we want to create hashes from, we're going to empty out our hashes array so that we can add the values into that array. So we pass all of the files to for each, which iterates through every file. It generates a hash based off of the file name that we supply and uh, the type that we supply. Uh, so then we come down here and it generates this hash. Now we want to have it kind of look like those command line programs. So um, we're creating the full name and then we're remo removing the, uh, the drive letter from it. So C colon backslash will be removed and then it puts a space and it uh, adds the hash to that name. Now that we have a list of all the hashes in that array, we can send them to the export file. So let's take a look at what the SHA512 will look like. Okay, so as you can see, we have hashes for all these files next to their SHA512 value. And as you can see, that's a pretty robust um, cryptographic method right there that's that's pretty big as as you go down you'll see they get smaller so SHA1 is a little bit smaller than SHA512 and as you go down um, you increase your chances of collisions even though it's 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 not that big of a deal um, even with MD5s, they've they've proven that there are a number of instances where collisions can occur, uh, and it's kind of on its way out the door. But we have other things like SHA to to help do that. So you have all the options here. Creating um, hashes in PowerShell is nice because it gives you uh, maximum control of the output, and then you can do other things with your scripts. But this is just a really simple way to generate hashes for files. And that's it. Thanks for watching.